thank you for joining me. Welcome in. My name is Deborah. This is Prush Intuitive, and we are going to look at the current energy. So let's get into it. These messages are always timeless. If they resonate with you, definitely they are meant for you. Pick them up, but only if they resonate, right? Let's try not to force <laughs> the proverbial square peg into the round hole. As I was preparing for this reading, that's exactly what I was hearing. It's all about perspective. And perspective is such a huge key component to being in alignment with what we want, i.e. our happiness and our fulfillment. If we have a perspective that is negative or doubtful or, I mean, obviously everything has to be taken into evaluation. I'm not saying wear rose colored glasses, please don't hear that. But it's this underlying belief that we can have what we want, that we can be able to accomplish, overcome what we need to. And there's a lot transitioning right now in the collective in general. We're being forced to kind of pick <laughs> what side of the coin we want to be on. Do we want to continue with the naysayers, the difficulties, lack of belief, lack of value? Or are we really going to step into our power? Pluto moving into Aquarius gives us a really beautiful opportunity to align with the desires of our heart which is so important in my opinion. <laughs> like, you know, life is something else. It's a trip, right? There's a lot that goes on. There's a lot of chaos, a lot of twists and turns. And the more we can be grounded, centered within ourself, within what we want, what we want to choose, the experiences that we want to have, the more happy we're going to be and fulfilled and abundant. That's what we're all about here is bringing in that abundance. Sorry, this is taking a minute. Squeeze a little bit and then we'll get into this. We're going to start off with an energy cleansing. Set the tone for the reading. This is also a really good time to set your own intention. If you would like to receive specific messages or have spirit answer certain questions, definitely give those now and be open to receive. All right, and we will get into it. I bless you with pure love and light, pure source energy, pure loving grace. I release anything that is blocking the highest and best messages from coming through. Fear, doubt, insecurities, lack of worth, lack of value, illusion, limitation, lack, cleanse it from our being. Help us to see clarity and truth, understanding, use it to empower our heart, our mind, our soul, help to make me a clear and open channel for the collective. Thank you, Father God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Mama Love. Okay. So, perspective. <laughs> perspective is the name of the game right now. Uh, we just had the sun and uh, move into Leo along with Venus. So there's a lot of creative energy. There is a lot of things that we kind of have to find a little bit more peace around. Acceptance is what I'm hearing, accepting things as they are and not needing to compartmentalize it as being a bad thing or a wrong thing in your life. The more we can take that step back, yes, I love this, through love and care and acceptance, the clearer we can see the value and the benefit for that experience, that person in our life. Double confirmation with this perception energy. 
don't stick your head in the sand, <laughs> you know? Just, I think this is a lot about having awareness. And this came through in our reading yesterday where it's like shifting how we're seeing things, not operating out of so much fear, out of so much anxiety and allowing that to limit you because it's not the truth. Maybe some parts of it are, right? Maybe some parts are valid and some parts are legit, but it's being able to differentiate between what is that anxiety and fear and what is actually really like honoring and nourishing our mind, body, and soul towards that happiness, towards that fulfillment, and obviously success. The card that I just pulled, double confirmation, as I'm speaking, right? Actions lead to success. There is that component of being able to surrender, <laughs> to listen, to be open to receive to those messages that we need. But right now we are a little bit resistant to it. In the astrology, it's showing this desire but either the action potential or the places we're limiting ourselves, the places we're falling into false belief have become a little bit of a struggle and a challenge. Being diplomatic with our approach, seeing things in that very rational, intellectual manner. The more we stick our head in the sand, the more it disempowers us. But when we can just look at something without emotion, without feeling, just for the reality of what it is, it gives us so much clarity, so much power as to better move forward. You have a lot of power within you in this moment, right? So you're getting Master Manifester and you're also getting Magnitude through Gratitude. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay. I misread that or whatever. I was seeing it as, um, you know, attraction through who you are, magnetism through who you are. And I think that is a strong component, right? This is that part of ourselves that we maybe feel a certain way about, or we judge, or we're afraid of what other people will think because there has been a lot of struggle and challenge in this area for you. People really kind of picking at you, picking you apart. And you've been forced to heal this, really. Find your own love, value, worth within yourself. That is obviously where it starts. We can't love other people <laughs> or really be present and happy and fulfilled when we don't have self-love. And this is basically showing that you have chosen to pursue it differently, take a different approach. And I feel like there are some unnecessary burdens in the way, but those are more connected again to that emotional that we were talking about. Choosing to embody that Queen of Swords energy so that you're not feeling so overwhelmed, so that you're not feeling so stressed out, so burdened by whatever this is. It's more an illusion. It's more the fear. Finding some tools to have better balance. I'm hearing you need some people to rely on. You need some people to fall back on. Or maybe you need to like utilize <laughs> that part of your community right now. People who are trusted. You don't have to tell every, what do they say? Harry, Dick, and Jane. <laughs> I can't remember what the, the names are. But you don't have to tell everyone all your business, all your dirty laundry. But at the same time, the places that you're struggling to be at peace around things that are happening right now, you need a sounding board. You need it so you're not just sticking your head in the sand. Oh, well, you know, that's that's the challenge right there. <laughs> that guy, the devil, unfortunately. Um, here's the thing, though. 
the devil, well, okay. So the devil is really powerful. I'm just saying this in context to the tarot, not religion, not any type of spirituality. So just bear with me. Um, I'm hoping this doesn't trigger anyone or whatever, but the devil is very powerful, right? It is more of, um, it's a different perspective of energy, right? And I think the devil can be very alluring. It can be very attractive and not good, bad, right or wrong. But I think that you have put your attraction on things that are maybe a little bit more superficial, not fulfilling. You end up getting what you want. You are powerful when it comes to manifestation energy. But what you're drawing in is a little icky and messy and low vibey because it's a very surface value of what you actually want. It doesn't have the depth. It doesn't have the authenticity. It doesn't have the life support for your mind, your body and your soul. And that's why it keeps coming up as, you know, 10 of wands, the devil. You've taken, and here's the thing, full energy, unfortunately or not, it is complete new beginnings. So it's talking about how be gentle with yourself in the process. Anytime we do anything new, it takes time to, oops, acclimate. And this goes back to that original channeled message, perception, being thankful for your experiences thankful for where they've gotten you even if it is mm, I don't know like a little humbling <laughs> is what I'm hearing right like sometimes we're just still like pissed off at people or we hate how this change has happened interestingly enough this is reminding us the wheel of fortune can be our karma whether it's karma in this life or karma in past lives. And I'm hearing this as you've also cleared out a shit ton of karma in your life as well. Maybe you have just spent a lot of time really focusing on your growth, your evolution, your healing, or you've been forced to do it in your life. And being forced to do it has forced you as an individual to honor yourself way more from a new perspective, a new understanding of who you are and your power. And you're getting comfortable in this vibe. It doesn't feel great, but you're getting comfortable. And I feel like where you end up tripping up is this 10 of wands devil energy because it's like all the stress, all the burden just leads to more, I don't know, unnecessary chaos. Having a little, again, this double confirmation. Okay, so the Queen of, Queen of Swords can be very um, uh, cutthroat, but she's also feminine energy, right? Where the King of Swords just does not give a, you know, he's willing to cut it off, has no problem doing so, especially if it serves his interest. And so I feel like not getting caught up in this like hubbub, not getting caught up in this hubbub. Whatever people outside projection is putting onto you that's making you feel so stressed or you don't want to look at it or it's too uncomfortable. Okay, I think number one, it's showing it's not as bad as what it seems. Don't hate me for saying that. Um, but true, because it's like, if we just have, the, I think the, um, the fear is making it what's harder, right? But if, if you have that courage to really actually take some action steps, it's going to lead to happy success. It's just getting through some of this BS that people situations are projecting onto that does feel really overwhelming. Right now we do have a lot of support in the astrology and 
<laughs> there's just like the places that it's uncomfortable it's just uncomfortable you know it's almost like that thing that can cloud everything else even the good yeah because you're very 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 intentional about not repeating those mistakes again coming from a lot of this i love this ten of swords in this deck because I really think it shows the gravity and the weight of how it has felt, of how the betrayal has felt, the backstabbing, the the haters, right? The people who just need that fuel for their own lives to make themselves feel better. It's really low vibey energy. And I do feel like you're doing everything to protect yourself yeah to find i love this that courage that strength to push forward maybe it has been very very difficult to find that silver lining to find that hope to find that gratitude for the experience because you have been going through a lot a lot of pain and i don't think it's just like one thing i, th I it feels like it's come in a lot of different directions and it's really forced you to elevate, I think you're going to be like happy and thankful for that <laughs> elevation the more it comes through. But Spirit's also asking you to release these resentments. And I'm hearing this more as like release the things that are keeping you confined, that are keeping you stuck. Yes, you might have residual anger, resentment. I don't think that's a horrible thing, to be honest. But I also think it's like, make sure that it's not keeping you stuck. Make sure that it's not keeping you limited or, right? Like this is, I feel like you're fenced in, right? With this barbed, sorry, I'm not flicking you off my promise. I feel like you're fenced in with this barbed wire and it's, you're like afraid that if you step outside of your comfort zone again, you're just gonna get burned. And, you know, maybe, hopefully hopefully you will have more awareness and i think with this gratitude with that third eye i'm seeing it as such um it's it's going to open up clarity so when you are interacting engaging with other individuals you're getting information neptune is in pisces even though it's in retrograde it still is giving us messages through our third eye through our crown chakra and we get to choose how we utilize that information but it's coming through gratitude through inner awareness understanding yourself understanding the role you played understanding how you show up so you can change those things so you don't make the same choices freeing yourself and letting go of the doom and gloom i mean you know whatever i know life it's very hard not to feel down and out especially when you are coming from a time of severe betrayal change upheaval a lot of um maybe trauma even for some of you and that's that value of be gentle with yourself learning to love yourself again through those self-love self-care practices the way that we love ourselves is through the way we nourish ourselves mind body soul right anything that we do to really honor our physiology our mental emotional spiritual like that is actually what what brings us happiness and fulfillment that is the way to give ourselves love and that is the way to bring that inner awareness to who we are so we are making decisions that honor our heart mind and soul <laughs> okay well happy friday i hope you're doing well thank you so much um for uh you know watching especially if you have made it this far in the video sorry i got like completely thrown off track i appreciate you your time energy always drop comments below especially if it resonated or if you want a little love little tlc i am here to support always thank you for the love and support you bring my way it honors blesses my heart all the love all the blessings